Episode four, Zoom 94.1 Sunday Smack Talk. Um, you might remember last week we had a very alarming moment where we had a sponsor. His name was Pat LaFontaine. And then Robbie inexplicably called him Mike Aruzioni. So I thought, you know, I got to get these guys back in game shape. We got to learn some hockey. But before we play a game of Hockey for Dummies, uh, I got an important thing to say. Uh, we got a birthday boy in the house. I mean, Saturday. Who? Big day. I mean, you talk about a legend. So this guy, I mean, he's a lovable redhead. Every time I see him on my screen, he makes me laugh. Happy birthday, Conan O'Brien, 57. Wow. wow. Oh, my goodness. Dang. Who knew? Has he got any birthday wishes? Uh, yeah, I, I've got one since, since we're doing this. I didn't think we were going to do this off the <laughs> bat, but uh, – a guy who, I mean, whenever I see him, I smile. He always makes me laugh. A, a guy who's just one of, one of the funniest people that, that I know. Uh, Jeff Dunham. Happy wow. birthday, yeah. Jeff Dunham. Hey, yeah. Just uh, hysterical. Dang. Uh, Saturday, Saturday, April 18th. I mean, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention somebody I refer to as Big Red. Happy birthday, Melissa Joan Hart. Is wow. Oh, wow. Happy birthday, Big Red. Thanks. Uh, I mean, thanks to it for her, obviously. I don't know her personally, but I would, I would assume if she was on this call, she would be thanking you both, you know, for the, for the, yep. the happy birthdays and, you know. Yeah, I've got, I've got another one, though, Robbie, oh. before you search this document. Okay. I mean, just an icon. Whenever you just hear this name, you know exactly who I'm talking about. I don't, with no other introduction, Courtney Kardashian, happy birthday. Icon. Wow. Legend I mean, in the radio industry. It yeah. Doesn't get any right. bigger than that if you don't, if you ask me. All right. You know what? We'll stop joking around because we're <laughs> playing around. Uh, Robbie, the floor is yours. Would you like to wish a happy birthday to Matt Stenberg? I would. Uh, just a big happy birthday. His birthday was actually on Friday, a very big day. Not as big as Saturday, but hey, you can only have, you know, one birthday on one day right. a year. Um, so big, uh, big congratulations on being born to uh, Matthew Stenberg, who is no longer with us. Obviously, he's still alive, but I mean, he's oh, with I us. Was say, trying to kill he's, him he's, yeah. he's not dead. Breaking but, news here. No, we're not breaking any news. He's up somewhere up up north, I think. I don't know where he went, but uh, you know, followed in the in the footsteps of his protege, um, one that who cannot be named at this moment. Uh, went to Boston, and you know what? I'm sure he'll be back. So congratulations and happy birthday to Matt Stenberg. You know, we, we miss him and, and want to wish him the best. We do miss him. All right. You want to jump into a – have you guys been studying for this big Hockey for Dummies showdown? Robbie? Yeah, of course. A actually, I, I was doing my research, and once you said something – ooh, <laughs> wow, that's, that's the graph. And once you, once you said that we were going to do Hockey for Dummies, I went online, I was like – what is some useless hockey information that I can know? And every fact about everything ever in hockey came up. So I, I got a little bit of everything. It's all useless information. Anything about hockey is, is not relevant to the world today. But I'm excited to kind of jump in and, and see what we got. Hold on. I need, to, I need to talk about something real quick before we get into that. That's, <laughs> okay. that's cool with you guys. Uh, yeah. So I got, I got the ratings back. I don't know if you guys heard the ratings came in. They and, did. Uh, this was <laughs> before the pandemic. Oh, okay. So as you Before can see, the top, pandemic. top left, that's when we started Sunday Smack Talk. All-time high. And since then, it's, it's been just, just headed towards the bottom. But I have good news for you guys, all right? You, okay. you watching the graph? This <laughs> has been since the pandemic wow. hit. So you can wow. see we started low. And then this peak right here in the middle, uh, that was when we did the NFL – mock draft but for radio show host i mean that was an all-time high episode so that right yeah. there is that and then we dropped back down because we didn't do that anymore and then the pandemic hit and now we're at the top we're the greatest radio show in in sports history so wow. i just want to show you guys that we're able to keep this up in the pandemic and not drop wow. to, to low numbers like others would during this time man if anything right. that gives me a, a confidence boost going into hockey for dummies because brooks thank you i mean that should be a point right there i mean i know yeah. he's my competition but you know, that should give them the advantage, at least here in the first round. All right. Well, let's find out our categories, boys. As usual, we've got three categories, four questions per category. Here are the categories. Hello first category, We're on born the, in the USA. This was United inspired by Robbie, who didn't know many American-born players. <laughs> so he might have some LaFontaine <laughs> questions here. 
Second category is called who. This is kind of a show and tell thing. I'm going to pull out some memorabilia. I'm going to show you a picture, and you're going to tell me who that player is. Okay. Third category is a performance based category. It's called say something smart. I'm going to give you a player, a team, and you got to say something smart about that player or person or team. Okay. Okay. All right, Robbie, since you're the returning champion, the floor is what? yours. Wait a second. No, he's not. I checked I will, the tape. Run back to the tape. Run it back. I don't think back. so. I haven't lost. No, you've right, lost fine. once. Brooks, Brooks go ahead. Since all right, just give, me, give me say something uh, smart for, for Say something smart. All right. Well, first guy I got for you, pretty easy to come up with some adjectives right. about this guy. Say something smart about Vinny LeCavier. Uh, Le Cavier, more like Le Cavier goal. This guy was a scoring machine. Whenever he got the puck, you knew the attack was on. This guy may have been just one of the best pure skaters. I'm not going to say best shooters, but pure skaters. I mean, he could do whatever he needed him on the ice. He was their offense, defense, special teams. He was there. So, without a doubt. Whoa. All right. One of the best skaters. I mean – he was a 50 goal scorer, almost had a thousand career points. I'm going to go to our judge. He says, "Score!" That's one for Alex. Wow, wow. that no, was, we've got no shot. That was that big. Big. Whew. Robbie, category is yours. What do you want? Who? You want who? Okay. All right. Here's a picture. I mean, it's signed. Pretty obvious who this guy is. He's the reason I love hockey. The Russian Rocket. Ended his career, of course, with your New York Rangers. Who is this guy? Oh, it's got to be that guy from Russia. Mm-hmm. He's got a name. I'll give you the initials. P.B. It's got to be Pat Bodet. Ooh. Brooks, you want to steal? Uh, yeah. I, I'll go ahead. Is it Pavel Burr? Say the last name again. I don't know. Par- <laughs> Bur- I, I think it's Burr. Is it Bure? I, I, I heard it. I think I'm going to give you a half point. It's Pavel Bure. That was pretty close. Wow. I was e, going to take a half the point. The E in English isn't, isn't really said, so I wasn't sure how they said it in over All there. All right. You know, you heard, you heard a commanding 1.5 to 0 lead, and you have the board, sir. Where uh, would you like to go? Uh, let's go. Let's stick with who. Who? All right. I mean, what can you say about this guy? Hart Trophy in 2002. I mean, that's pretty rare for a goaltender. He's the second to last goalie to win the Hart. Tell me who this guy is. All right. It's, it's Jose De Theodore. Why do you know that? <laughs> it's Jose Theodore. Oh, my goodness. That's what I'm here for. Oh, oh, wow. Man. I did not think it would be over this quickly, but it's, it's two point five to hey, zero. Hey, let me tell you, the 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 reason is not looking too good right now. I'm pretty sure Brooks has got some sort of like facial recognition thing, so I might keep him away from the who. Uh, Robbie, you have the next category. Yeah, sir. give me give me born in the USA. Born in the USA. All right, this is a trivia question, multiple choice, so you got a good chance of actually getting this correct. Okay, Robbie. Okay. Who is the all-time points leader for American-born players? Is it A, Brett Hall, B, Mike Madonna, or C, Pat LaFontaine? Mike Madonna. Let's go to our judge. No goal. Dang. Nope. Are you nope. sure? You can't steal this one because it's multiple choice. It is Brett Hall. Mike Madonna. I had that one. I knew it. Uh, Wait, where's Brett Hall from? Wait, other than the U.S. Like, where in the U.S. is Brett Hall? I could have sworn he was Canadian. Do you want me to answer Michael's that? American, sir. He's from Chicago. Me? His dad played in the Blackhawks, Bobby Hall. He was drafted by the Calgary Flames. How do you not know this, Robbie? Why do he you know that? The, he entered the draft in 84. I mean. <laughs> All right, Brooks, we're going to you next. What do you want? I mean, this might be over quickly. So. I, I, if he gets one more give, right, I think it's over. Give me born in the USA. I mean, that's, it, it should be easy to know this. All right. Brooks, who became the first American-born player to lead the NHL in points for a season? Stop typing. Is it Patrick Kane? Wait Jeremy a second. Frank, hold on. Pat- hold on. Stop the game. I'm not Brooks, I point. can see the reflection in your glasses. I don't know what you're talking are you about. Been, have you been cheating? Have you been trying to figure out this whole thing mm-hmm. the entire uh, game? You, you literally can't prove anything. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't know what you're wow. talking about. But, um, 
no, I haven't been. Obviously, as you, I have oh. not been cheating oh. at all. I don't, okay. know, I don't know what you're talking about. Russ, on, there sorry. he is. Um, uh, this um, one's tough. Hold on, just give me a couple minutes. Um, uh huh. No, uh, we're on a we're on a ticking clock here. Uh, is it? Oh man, can you read the question again? <laughs> no, I'll just give you the options: Patrick Kane, Jeremy Roenick, or Pat Lafontaine. Uh, um, I'll go with the middle one. Jeremy Roenick is incorrect. Of That's course. not what I said. Patrick Kane. I Patrick wanted Patrick Kane. Kane. The first That's what American I said. American-born player to lead the league in points. Wow. Whew. And you're cheating. I'm going to dock him a point. What are you talking he's about? Down, he's a, down to two. A, a point. It should be all his points. Wait, he he should have to about? forfeit the game. I don't, I don't, I don't him half a point. I don't know That's what enough. you're talking about. That's a compromise. I don't know. Robbie, don't know. you have the board, sir. All right, the last category. Born in the USA? No, it was that was the first one. The oh, say something smart. Yeah, oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. I mean, this one, pretty obvious, pretty famous. Say something smart about Mike Comrie's ex-wife. Man, she. I mean, we all she, know who she is. Of course we do. She was something else. She came into Mike Comrie's life, you know, a while back, and they fell in love, and it was kind of your your everyday kind of fairy tale oh, this story. This is terrible, Robbie. And, you know, you get What do you know about her specifically? Talk about her. She was great. She had a great career. No idea. Uh, Robbie, mm-hmm. I'm, I'll, can I steal? Can no, I steal? Wait, maybe. wait, you can right. look it up on Google and then no, you can steal. No, I would never do that. I know who Lizzie McGuire, <laughs> a.k.a. Hillary Duff is. Are you kidding Ooh. me, Robbie? Wow. <laughs> You know Just what? I thought legend. about that. I, I, a she legend. was in my, a she was in actress, my mind that she was the person. Businesswoman, singer, songwriter, producer, and writer. She became her career, began her career as a young, at a young age and quickly became labeled as a teen idol. I mean, this, yes. She's more famous than him. Wow. You might as well just call you, hey, you may as well just call Brooks the walking uh, Wikipedia page because that exactly I, sounded I did my like what he was research. reading. I did my, I did my hockey studying research. all week. I mean, it sounds oh. like it. Wow. I have nothing else to do, Robbie. We're in quarantine. And, and for something as simple as, you know, Mike Comrie's ex-wife, not even giving you who Lizzie McGuire is. Everybody knows you know, for that him it was to know Hillary that, Duff. Everybody knows yeah. that. Impressive. Just, so, just like everybody knows who, knows who Carrie Underwood is married to, right, Robbie? Who is it? Mike Fisher. There hey. you go. See, everybody knew hey. that. Come well, on. Okay. I, I'm a country Brooks. DJ. I, I, if I didn't know that, just kick me off the air now. Brooks, you kind of screwed yourself. Since you asked him a question, he got it correct. I'm going to give him one point, and I'm, hey. asking, I'm, giving, you, I'm giving you your half point back for the Lizzie McGuire stuff off the top of your head, which is pretty okay. impressive. Thank you. All right, Brooks, you've got the board. Go ahead. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Who? Who? All right. Who? I mean, uh, I'm going to cover up his name, but I'm going to say it. I mean, he says to Brian, and he was the best defenseman of his generation. Tell me who this is. Uh, can you tell me what number he wears? That would just no. help a little bit. I can tell you that he won a Stanley <laughs> Cup in 2007. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait. I, that's, that's, uh, that's pretty easy. Is it Bo Meester? Oof. Wow. No, Robbie, would you like to steal? Oof. I, I would not, but I would like to uh, share Alex Brooks' screen one more time because uh, he took a little bit of a, of a, of a pause oh, before he – It's uh, isn't it? No, it's not. He's not a current blue. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, All right. Since neither of you can get it, it, of course, is Hall of Famer Chris Pronger. I mean, my God, this guy was just an animal in his day. Won the cup (laughs) with the Mighty Ducks, as we all know. So Alex leads 2.5 to 1. Robbie, here's your chance to make a comeback. What do you want? I don't know. Give me something. Surprise me. Uh, Let's do Say Something Smart. And uh, Robbie, you got a tough one here. Say something smart about my Buffalo Sabers. Well, they're, they've obviously got the best team in the league, and and they they would win the Stanley yeah. Cup. Stop if... talking. That's good enough. All That's right, hold on, enough. hold on. No, can I steal? No. I've got something better. He the the question was already no, answered. Correctly. I've got something better. Can, I'm going to steal this one. You uh, can steal for future considerations. Go ahead. All right, all right, perfect. Uh, so something smart about the Buffalo Sabers? I can't. There isn't anything to say. If you say anything smart, oh. it's a lie. He, so, um, he does. He, uh, wow. So I'm sorry. That's I'd like. I'd like to get Robbie's points it. redacted. That's that's yeah, we, you should get that's, his that's a, point that's redacted for that answer. That's yeah. a joke. It's a tie it's game, joke. folks. It it's is a two joke. two all is. of a sudden for that terrible answer. Two two, Brooks. You got some ground to make up now. What do you want? I mean, I've got like 17 points. You guys just keep docking me because I'm smarter than you guys. 
Uh, let's go who for, who for 700, please. Who? I mean, pretty obvious one. The coolest thing about this guy, he finished his career with exactly – one point per game, 989 games played, 989 points. Uh, concussion issues. I mean, he would have played a lot longer if he didn't have concussion issues. Great player, and you can kind of see his name right there on the back, so I'll cover it up. Who is he? Um, well, you see, this one, this one's difficult. I don't, I don't know. Robbie, would you like to steal? Is it, is it Paul Kramer? <laughs> it's Paul Korea. That's right. And- it- no. I was close. Half point for that one. I was close. It was cheated. It was Paul Kramer. Kramer what is this? Seinfeld, get out of here. If you give him a point for that, I'm out. <laughs> you and got also, Paul. You and got also, the K. also, Paul Korea did make an appearance in, I believe, the Mighty Ducks franchise as well. Two. I believe he's in the second one where they're in the U.S. Olympic team, right? Either, either. I think it's the third Dude. one. He because the the main play by play uh, guy he, goes he to him. Just lost that half a point. It was. What do you mean? One. So it's 2-2. Two, two. Mm. Wait a Robbie, second. Hold on. No, no, no. Wow. That was correct. Wow. Look it up, Brooks. Brooks. He was in the third one. He was in the second one. Alex, hurry up and Wikipedia. Paul Korea, Mighty Ducks. I, don't, I, don't know. I have to He's open already there, internet. so you might as well just I've got, tell him to I've look at his page Hold now. on. I've got to open my uh, internet browser because I obviously Oh, didn't. okay. True. So give me a second. To, to yeah. Please. I'm um, sorry. Paul Korea was in the third movie, D3. Ooh. No, he wasn't. I'm, I'm sorry. He was. I don't He's in two. You're going to lose another half maybe, point. Hey, maybe I should be hosting fun. this game if you didn't even know that. You're wrong. I don't think so. I do Hold not on, believe I gotta, so. I've got to go to his IMDb. Give me a moment. Oh, my God. All right. Just play some music real quick. I don't have any. Uh, I'm, not, I'm looking it up right now. Paul Korea. How do you spell Korea? I don't, K-A-R-I-Y-A. Oh, obviously. All right, here we go. He was to self in 2013. That's and, a different. <laughs> yeah, that's a different movie. <laughs> All right, hold on. He was known. He, oh, wow. He was known for the 1999 NHL All-Star game where he played himself. <laughs> um, that's, that's pretty big. Uh, he thanks and credit for D3, the Mighty Ducks. Hey. Are you serious? All right. Robbie, back at 2.5. You have the lead. Uh, so hold on. I th- I'd like to dock you points. I think I I've apologize. got some right. <laughs> no, we, hey, I'd like, I would like to contest this entire game because yeah, the host on, didn't I, even know a big question. I, I won my point about talking bad about the Buffalo Sabres because there isn't <laughs> anything good to talk about. And I'd like that half point redacted uh, that you redacted re-given to me. You make a valid point. You're both getting 2.5 points. So it's a tie game, 2.5 to 2.5. I apologize. And uh, Rob, no, Brooks, the board is yours, I think, right? Yes. Say Who's something else? smart. No, no, no. It was, Say something it's, smart. It's, it's mine because I got get Paul out of here. Korea. But you stole it from him. I, I oh, stole yes. it, so oh, it's it back to Robbie's me. Up. Yeah, right, okay, what do you go, want? Robbie. Um, Say something nice. Say it's up. smart. Wow. All right, That's give me a half point, point, Robbie. What? Robbie's what? down to two. Oof. What? All You're right. not saying something nice. You're saying something smart. Wow, That's that was right. just – I think he lost say, his category already. <laughs> Robbie, say something smart about my guy, future Hall of Famer right there. Kind of odd that it's a picture from the Sharks because nobody remembers him playing on the Sharks. Who is this guy? Say something smart about him. Wait, this is – is this who or say something smart? It's a combo. It's a combo. It's a Wait, combo. I'll, I'll, know well, first off, something it? smart. He was on the, on the Sharks and a very, very good player as a righty. I mean, Scored what are you, John goals? Madden? Uh, if you catch the ball, it's considered a catch. Like, what are you – you're giving me nothing here, Robbie. That's not smart. That's just – I what mean, are you it's, talking about? It's – I'm an, analyzing. Look, just, ju- just give me some stats on, on him at the Sharks then. If you, if you know he was on the Sharks, give me a couple – All right, he was a 40-goal scorer one year. Yeah. Thank you. That's, I mean, I mean, everybody he, was. What, but was win? that with the Sharks? Yeah. It was with the Sharks. It was not. I wasn't sure if Robbie knew that. So, you yes, know, Robbie yeah. didn't know that. Robbie, did he win a Stanley Cup? Did he ever? He did. With what team? Not the Sharks. That's correct. Robbie. Thank you. No, hold on. Hold on. Thank I think you need you. to push him a little more. Push him a little no, more. Ask no, him. hey, the Just points have – you cannot him. take points back. Give him – I mean, no, that's not true. Tallied. That's happened the entire game. <laughs> Robbie, this guy's name is Timo Solani. Hall that's of right. Favor. Oh, he, uh, he's a Hall of Famer playing on a line with this guy. They're forever remembered as the Paul, most dynamic duo of the 90s. Paul Korea on the Mighty Ducks, on the Anaheim Ducks. 
You couldn't be more correct. These two were unstoppable on they the were. money. That's, that's three and a half points for Robin. Man, that's I, I feel game. cheated. 3.5. Honestly. Honestly. Wow. Cheated. cheated. Robbie. 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 Mm-hmm. Hey, what, Robbie. What can I say? What can Robbie. I say? <laughs> Brooks, uh, I think all you have left is born in the USA. We have two questions. I'd like to see more of just your catalog, uh, catalog of what you got for your uh, who. I feel like you're running out of cards here. <laughs> well, that's – I've got more who's. First one out of the box, you're going to have to tell me who this guy is. Pretty recognizable signature. Oh, yeah. Uh, does he still play for them? I don't think so. Does he? No. You knew oh, that. Man. Yeah, obviously. Uh, a Maple Leafs great goal scorer or a goalie goal scorer. <laughs> that would be interesting. Um, I just you just gotta give me a minute and I'll get there. You know. Uh, <laughs> you know what? He's a Hall of Fame goalie. He was great with the Leafs. My guy Rick's gonna give it to you. It's a tie game at three point five to three point five. Thank you. Thank we you. all know Robbie that that was Curtis Joseph, aka Cujo. Yes, we all know that, except for Brooks, because he couldn't search it fast oh, it's enough. Cu- it's Cujo. Get out of here. <laughs> he knew it. Robbie, oh, okay. born in the USA. You ready? Yeah, it's the last one. This one's, this one's pretty easy. No, I got two more. Oh. Pretty no, easy. No, this is it. This is it. Last one. Yeah, this has got to be it. All right. This is a tie game. 3.5 to 3.5. Mike Arruzzioni, your guy. Yeah. Captain America, won the 1980 gold medal. Did he go on to play in the NHL? A, yes, B, no, or C, Pat LaFontaine? C, Pat LaFontaine. That is incorrect, Robbie. What? Oh, come on. Incorrect. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. What is his last name? What is this? Ruzioni. Can you spell that for me real quick? Ruzioni. R-U-Z-I-O-N-E. All right, hold on. He did go play in the NHL, but he was not that successful. Uh, Robbie, you somehow answered incorrectly twice. That's he right. never played in the NHL. I'm going to yeah. say he never played in the age. That is correct. Oh, I, I wonder know. why. We need oh, a wait a breaker. second. Wait a second. This says he did play in the AHL. Yeah, but he never played in the NHL, like he said. NHL, Listen, bro. Brooks. Oh, NHL. I got it right, Robbie. You got it wrong twice. You get did not here. get it right. I got you it right. You saw it. You I'm were like, looking on Google. Is Robbie cheating? Uh, Google says Am yes. I ch- <laughs> <laughs> Margot Robbie was cheating? That's not good. Bre- breaking news. <laughs> All right, well, give me the last one. Wait, All right, that well, is the I'll last get... one. This is just going to be a tiebreaker since we're tied at 3.5 and 3.5. Brooks, can you stop sharing your screen so I can show a picture <laughs> real quick? Oh, yeah, hold on. Hold on. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how to do it. Uh, here we go. I, I think the I, only I share my screen. The only fair way that me and Rick see is just like a performance-based question, and you're both going to get it, and I'm going to pick which answer I like better. Okay. I've got a book in front of me. It's called 100 Things Buffalo Sabres Fans Should Know and Do Before They Die. We might all die with coronavirus. Give me your favorite Sabres fact, Brooks, and then Robbie gets to go. Uh, no, Robbie should go first because it's okay. – No, 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 no. It's his turn. No, Robbie's over a turning champ, so I think that uh, he should do it first. Go ahead, Robbie. All right, so what was the question? Brooks, go first. My God. I'm not going to repeat uh, the question. <laughs> You want you want the best Sabres fact I've got. Mm-hmm. All right, this one's pretty pretty good. Um, like every lightsaber, Jedi Order Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber was powerful, powered by the Kryber crystal in the core of the. This hill. is not good. Previously, this is. Would you like to go to with a blue plasma blade <laughs> due to the crystal connection with the first owner? So that's I don't know if you knew that. That's not good. Robbie, what do you got? Pretty bad answer. Pretty low bar. Uh, you obviously team, don't know anything about it. What? They're a team that's based in New York, and they, they play in the NHL? <laughs> They're based in pretty, Buffalo. Pretty damn weak. Buffalo, what New York. You got? Brooks. Hey, Brooks, Brooks didn't even you. know anything about the NHL team. He just Fun. gave you some Star Wars December facts. December 6, 1970, Roger Co- Crozy recorded the first shutdown in team history, beating Minnesota one to nothing. Good point. Follow that up, Robbie. I can't. That's pretty easy. We're going Brooks. Alex Brooks wow. by a score of 4 to 3.5 is your new champion, Hockey for Dummies. And uh, my guy, Curtis Joseph, 
says, good job, Alex. Thank you, Curtis. Great job. I, Great I appreciate job. it. I, I'm just, that's what I've been doing the whole time during, during I've been yeah. locked up. You know, I've just I can been tell. studying hockey nonsense. I mean, I got my hockey shirt on. You know, like, that's how you win Stanley Cups. It's just. I like it. I yeah. never wear anything saber-wise. Well, can I tell you about my favorite player on the Toronto Maple Leafs back in the day? Yes. It wasn't yes, Cujo. Okay. I mean, it was my guy, Brian Banesh. I wow. mean, he was great. And you know that. Yeah, Rick loved I, him. He was yeah, a terrific he, player in his uh, day. He was, he was so good. He, he was afraid of uh, playing with some hockey players, some street hockey players in Virginia Beach. So he, no, that's – well. He was really good. It's so nice to talk to another hockey fan, Brooks. Yeah, I, I know, mean, right? Robbie, I'm sorry that you feel like a third wheel here. Uh, I wish you would have hey, talked hey, hockey more hey, on the show. All I'm, like, all I think that all other, I'm saying – Hold on, I think, I think I can uh, show you where we talked hockey a little bit during our show. You see these little peaks? <laughs> the little peaks, that's hockey. Yeah. And then we dropped down, it was NFL time, and nobody in this league liked in this I area. think that was the segment that Robbie joined and us. I, I, I think don't think was. so. I don't think I, I think was a was. part of the show during that time. I don't think no. the ratings, you know, grabbed when I was there. No, I think we, that's when we just that's from last summer. the fact that Robbie wasn't there. But, I mean, I just love being in the Buffalo Stadium, you know? It's, it's a good time. You, you know, mean arena? It's a rocking. No, they call it stadium up there, Robbie. Oh, okay. Um, no, no, just no. Sabers Mafia. Yeah, you gotta love it. You gotta oh. love it. Gotta love something. All right, uh, <laughs> Brooks. Did you yeah. watch the last dance yesterday? No, I recorded it. Why would I watch it live? There's commercials yeah, in it. I heard. Like, are you kidding me? Get out of here. I'll, I'll watch it later. And then I gotta wait a week for it. Maybe I'll just record all ten and then watch it. Yeah, what are they thinking? I mean, I know they, I know people need time to kind of relax and like get, you know, get, you know, I don't know, like invested in it over a, you know, a five week period. But why the heck not just do it all week long? No one's else, no one's got anything to do. Or just do it like start it at noon and just run it all night. Yeah, nine p.m. That was so late. I fell asleep at nine thirty last night. Yeah, and I, I don't know. I, it was just a weird time, and I, I saw some clips, and I don't know if you guys saw any clips, but it seemed like it was good, and I know. uh Jordan said he was going to come out as like a terrible person through all this. Like he said, he's like, I'm going to come out and people are going to think I'm a terrible person after this comes out. I mean, if a camera crew follows you all year and that's how you look, that's probably you're a terrible person. Am I wrong? Probably. Like, how would they misconstrue that over the course of six months? Yeah. It's easy. Just LeBron's better. He is. Robbie, you want to earn a half point? Who's better? What? By saying LeBron? Why would I say LeBron's better when he's clearly not? Oof. Robbie is let's, down another half point. Let's, no, look, that's let's look at the numbers. A retroactive. It's so different, though. Hey, guys, we could have this argument for another 40 minutes, but we can't because Zoom's going to kick us off before then. Because we got 10 minutes left. I just got the, uh, the warning from Zoom. Should I roll Actually, up the, extra, the outro <laughs> music? No, 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 no I got it. I got some Wait, not yet, outro. guys. We have 10 minutes. We still I got have to do, to we, talk about. We still have to do polls. All right. I'll pull up We haven't polls. done polls since episode one. At ESPN Radio, 941. Give me a minute. Why don't you tell the people to subscribe and all that, Robbie? Yeah, make sure to, to subscribe. Uh, push that like on the video. Comment below if you liked what we talked about. If you knew any of the questions that Brian asked Brooks or myself and, and you want to participate next time, drop a comment down below and maybe we'll get you on the Zoom call next week. Well, we could do that. Why don't we just have people drop in on our Zoom call, you know? Just open it to the public. Go tweet it out. See who pops in. Did you see the thing that Katie Nolan did with, like, Mike Ryan? Oh, that was great. Where, yeah. yeah, Dwayne Wade showed that. up. We should do that. Most See, famous what? person. The most famous get. person. I, I mean, I think I can lock down. I'm not going to say it. AJ Risser. All right, I got oh. a poll. At ESPN Radio 941. I would get Risser first. Um, ooh, this is a terrible poll. Who I don't have Risser's phone best? number, so I wouldn't get him at all. Oh, that's – I'm going to dock you another point for that. <laughs> dock Four to 2.5. Why? Here's one poll before we go. Okay. Who drafted the best athletes since 2010 to quarantine with – oh, geez, that is – that is awful radio. I'm going to skip that poll. Uh, uh, which NFL team made the playoffs a season ago most needs to select a quarterback in the upcoming 2020 draft? Is it the Packers, the Patriots, the Saints, or the Titans? 67% said Patriots. I mean, they already have Brian Hoyer. They have Tom Brady, so, like, I don't know what they need. Did you see those new Patriot jerseys that they dropped today? I mean, 
perfect well, time to drop new jerseys. Are so many stars. Nikhil Harry, <laughs> I'm getting a Burkhead jersey, a Matt Lacoste. I mean, so many stars on the Patriots to grab a jersey now these days. I mean, I, I'd, get a, I'd get a Rob Gronkowski, you know, knock me up for a Rob Gronkowski one. He doesn't play on the team anymore, Robbie. Oh, he doesn't? I mean, why, why do we not why lead not? with this? This is a lead story. The Patriots' <clears throat> New Jerseys, our local Virginia Beach Patriots got New Jerseys. Why do we not lead with this? I and wanted also, to talk about the well, Robbie sport. wanted to play Are you kidding? No, wait a second. No, 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 no. I did not want to play hockey for dummies. Getting new jerseys and starting a new era without Tom Brady. I don't know why we didn't start with this. Like, you guys obviously don't know good radio because – I mean, I, we ended the show two weeks ago with this same thing too, the whole Tom Brady-Howard Stern interview. Why didn't we leave with that two weeks ago? I wanted to, Robbie, and you said no. You said you're the host. I got an email that says Robbie's the host. I'm like, okay, take the lead, Robbie. What do you want to talk about? And you you wanted to play some essential or not essential game, which was a huge waste of time. I I don't know. We got the ratings are looking good. Have you seen Al? Have you seen Brooks's uh, ratings? Brooks, what happens when we talk Patriots? Do you have those ratings up? Yeah, hold on. I have I have the ratings of what happens when we talk New England Patriots. This is it. Oh. oh. Yikes. This is actually today's Yikes. show. We started up top here, and then, uh, like, I get, I get them immediate back. And then we did Hockey for Dummies. And then uh, the little spike at the bottom is me actually winning Hockey for Dummies. Oh. Talking some, some just some, Good some, point. Puck, some puck with Benish. And then I, and then, I love how – I love how that, that one right toward the end actually goes backwards. So it like travels back in time to get a lower rating. Yeah. I mean, that's what happens, you know, but All right. I mean, I'm- big thanks to Brooks for providing ratings info as the show go, go went on, because that's just something you don't get anywhere else. Not Robbie it shows we need to switch up and, and do different things. Like not talk <laughs> new England Patriots. That's fair. Uh, I'd be okay. But I, I want to talk to Patriots though. There's there's no other team that's relevant. I just made my that's Leaves true. Tom 2020 t-shirts. I'm going to sell true. them worldwide. All right, Robbie, go ahead and take us out. I'm going to leave. We, we are going to just have an outro of a great topical song. Here's Hillary Duff, Come Clean, to take us out. Go ahead and take us out, Robbie. All right, well, that's been Sunday Smack Talk on Zoom 94.1. If you want to get us anywhere reach out to us on twitter at big red little blue and medium orange big thanks to our friends over at the love shack for providing donuts and breakfast for everybody except for brian and brooks big thanks to the toronto maple leafs the toronto blue jays and all the canadian teams we have forgotten about during this tough time for alex brooks brian benish i am robbie vogler and for hillary duff one more time saying Lizzie McGuire will live on forever. Guys, thanks so much. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you next week. Wait for the chorus, Robbie. No, we can't be playing this. It's going to go on YouTube. This is not good. We can't be – no, we're not letting the rain fall anywhere. No, do not let it hit your knees. Don't let it go anywhere. you got to get through the rain. It's raining outside right now. we got to control this show. Oh, gosh, this is an absolute disaster. Are we going to get in trouble for using that? We are going to get in trouble. End the meeting. End the meeting. All right. We're done. See you guys next week. Have a great week. Stay safe. Stay home. And Brooks. What? Nothing. I was just going to see. I thought you have to pay my fine, Robbie. You have to pay my fine. I have to go. Yep. Uh, Mine too. Mine too. All right. Later.